Welcome back to Everyman EDC. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Kaiser Leap. If you're not familiar with Kaiser, this knife company has been around for a number of years now. They are a Chinese company that has put out an awful lot of very well known and very loved design knives. Uh, you know, as far as Chinese companies, gone are the days of junky Chinese knives, and now is the time for some high quality, fairly low budget knives that are coming out of China that are just absolutely wonderful fantastic little knives this is definitely a knife that if you are okay buying some chinese knives one you definitely may want to consider here so what we have here is just a very small you know three fingers is basically all the grip you're going to get on this knife um worn cliff style blade uh, just really pretty much perfection if you ask me as far as being able to use it for cutting details i really love a knife where i can get my finger all the way out there really control the tip of it and get a lot of detail cuts with that and that's what you could use this knife for now this is one that i have been carrying quite a bit i got this knife towards the end of 2021 and it has been in my pocket almost every day since uh my work setting is much more of an office setting uh, so I don't need a heavy use folder. I need something that's more like this that I can slip into my pocket, forget about, pull it out when I might need it, um, which in, in my line of work is not all the time. So this is a knife that if that's you, this might be a perfect one for you. The blade steel on it is N690, which is a high corrosion resistant blade steel, stainless steel. Uh, and it really is, I've been happy with this steel. It's held an edge well. I haven't actually sharpened this, but I have used this regularly. So if I can get this to focus in, you can see there really are no chips in the blade steel at all. The edge is not necessarily the best as far as from the factory, but it's usable and I'm okay with that. You know, usable blade is what I care about and it is definitely usable. The handles on these are micarta, and there comes in a number of different handle materials. You can get this brown micarta. They also comes with black micarta. There's some G10 scales. You have these that are smooth sided. You also can get some that have some design in there, little circles basically throughout the scale. If you want something with a little more grip, I find this micarta to be really nice. It's almost warm to the touch the way it, it, it feels. It's easy to hold. I'm happy with it. Um, and again, because this isn't necessarily a hard use knife, that's not what you would get this knife for. I don't need something that's going to be super grippy. So I, I'm really happy with the handles. These. As far as cutting with this, uh, it does fit really well in the hand. It works very precise. Happy with any way I hold this knife. It, it's fairly comfortable. No real hot spots. The pocket clip on this is a deep carry pocket clip. And I really am pretty impressed with this pocket clip. It has not loosened up on me at all. You know, it seems to remain springy. Uh, they did do a little bit of milling out, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera. You can kind of see right there on the edge, just a small milling out. And that has really worked well to hold that pocket clip in place. So there's no wiggle. And a lot of times these pocket clips with the screws um, like that will get a little wiggly. That is not the case with this one. So good job Kaiser on that. As far as the pivot, they did add a blue anodized pivot collar there on the one side. And the other, I think that is a T8. Uh, might be a T6. I'm, I don't remember for sure, uh, you know, what, what size is. As far as the construction, this is a liner lock, steel liner lock design. And lockup is right about, I'd say 30% or so. Uh, as far as, you know, stability, that, that, that knife is is really stable. It's not moving. Hopefully, I know it's always hard to see on camera, but guys, this is there's no wiggle in that knife. I was really happy with how well that that is holding up. No concerns there. Um, if you look inside at these liners, you can see there is some milling out of there to actually even reduce weight even further. This is not a heavy knife to begin with, but it is nice to have that milling in there as well. Obviously, it is a pillar design, which I do like having a pillar design knife uh, just to be able to clean out a lot easier 
not having any build up in there. So you can see it's got a little dust in there, but no, no real build up in the, in the knife. As far as opening, closing the knife, it opens very quickly. You can use either the push button method for opening this flipper or the light switch method. Either one of those works really well. This knife comes out very quickly. Uh, it's almost hard to make this fail. Now, if we look at the flipper tab itself, you can see there is some jimping there. And, and I do think that's a nice little touch. You get the jimping, really helps you kind of make sure you don't slide right off of that. But even without that jimping, I think the ergonomics on it are just spectacular. I don't think you have any real issues. And then I do like having that jimping there on the inside for your little finger choil, it holds it really well. Now I've talked before about these finger choils. This one to me is kind of that perfect size. Sometimes when the knives get too big, it makes it a little bit uncomfortable in hand. If you're gonna have a finger choil, I think this is kind of a perfect one. It is nice that it's cut out so that you can easily access that liner lock with no problems. It does run on ball bearings, and I don't think you'll be able to see them, but the ball bearings are really smooth. Uh, it does not drop clothes, and if you guys remember, and you watched my videos before, you know I don't like drop clothes, so I'm happy that it doesn't drop clothes. That being said, just a little bit of a flick, and it'll close right up. The reason I don't like drop clothes is because I don't want to have my fingers in here, have a knife drop on them, and cut them. Uh, with this size blade, it's not quite as big of a deal because it's not such a heavy blade that you really have to worry about cutting yourself a whole lot. But for as sharp as I get my knives, I really don't want to come into accidental contact with that blade. So I am glad to see that it does not just completely drop free. I know some of you guys love that. I am not a fan of that. Um, I've just I've cut myself too many times with drop free blades. Overall, guys, I really do like this knife. It's one I would definitely highly recommend for you guys if you're looking at a knife. Uh, you know, really, this is a budget friendly knife. It's only $55, and I'll leave links down below where you can find it on Amazon. There are a number of different options you can get this in. Check them all out, see which one you like best, and go ahead and purchase this knife. Don't even hesitate, just get this one. You'll be happy with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content.